We did our project on eggshell geodes. For this experiment, our hypothesis stated that the egg dyed blue, which contained water, salt, and food coloring, would produce crystals the fastest. We felt that this would occur because the salts, while reacting with the solution, would evaporate the quickest. This would cause the crystals to form with the egg and become a solid. Over a period of five days, our hypothesis was proven correct, as the blue egg produced the most crystals. For this project, we used three different mixtures. For the first one, we used a clean out eggshell, a fourth of a cup of water, an eighth of a cup of sugar, and a drop of red food coloring. For the second one, we used a clean out eggshell, a fourth of a cup of water, an eighth of a cup of salt, and one drop of blue food coloring. For the third one, we used a clean out eggshell, a fourth of a cup of water, an eighth of a cup of baking soda, and a drop of green food coloring. For day one, there was minimal crystal growth on each of the eggshells. On day two, there was more crystal growth on the blue eggshell where the egg had cracked. For the green one, there was minimal crystal growth around the top, and on the red one, there was no crystal at all. On day three, there was crystal growth around the crack. The crystals began to grow up the side of the eggshell. On the green one, there was still minimal crystal growth around the top, and on the red, there was no crystal growth at all. On day four, there was more crystal growth on the blue eggshell. The crystals began to surround most of the outside of the eggshell. For the green eggshell, there was more crystal growth, but still not as much as the blue and there were still no crystals around the red eggshell. On the final day, there was even more crystal growth on the blue eggshell. The crystals have now surrounded 98% of the outer eggshell. The green eggshell had more crystals that formed around the top of the eggshell, and there was no crystals around the red eggshell. Common salt is the chemical compound of sodium chloride. When seawater evaporates, salt is obtained. When in water, the sodium and chlorine are separated by water molecules. As the water starts evaporating from the solution, the sodium and chlorine ions begin to bond together as a single molecule. Those molecules then bond together, forming the crystals. Each type of crystal has different properties and shapes. Sugar crystals are more slanted at the ends, while salt crystals are typically cubic. When viewed without a microscope, the colors also may look similar. Sugar crystals tend to be clear, while salt crystals are duller and have more of a white color. We concluded this experiment with our hypothesis being correct. The blue egg with the salt developed the most crystals. Dissolving the crystals in hot water created what is called a supersaturated solution. This basically means that the salts took advantage of the energy of the hot water to help them dissolve until there was no more space between molecules in the solution. As the solution cooled, the water lost its energy and the crystals are then forced from the solution to become a solid again. Since this happened slowly along with the evaporation, the crystals have time to grow larger than they were when the experiment started.